Hello and welcome to another episode of Sports and Songs Podcast. I'm your host, Dan. Andy's on assignment today. We've got a bonus episode, bonus tennis episode. Joining us today is a staff at the United States Tennis Association, USTA, Northern Section, Egan, to talk about some promotion, some things, upcoming events here in the world of tennis. Pat, I'll start off with you. Um, we'll go around and kind of just give your first and last names and, and what you do there, your position, and... Then we'll go over some of the events coming up. So I'll start off with you, Pat. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Thanks for having us on. This is great. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Pat Colbert, I'm the Assistant Executive Director, USTA Northern, and also head of our special projects. Uh, so I focus on facilities, our partnerships with the Twins and Vikings, and we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, I'll throw it off to Corey. Hi, I'm Corey Bear. I am the Marketing and Communications Coordinator here at USTA Northern. I just started in February, so I'm definitely still a newbie, but learning the ropes and, and Pat's been a huge help in that. <laughs> Great, Mark. I'm Mark Bellick. I'm the executive director at Huther Family Match Point in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And, um, so run the day-to-day, -day, still do some coaching, running tournaments. Uh, and that's what I'm here to talk about today is we got a big tournament coming our way that we're preparing for and super excited for. Perfect, excellent. Well, welcome. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, Pat, do we want to start off with first the tournament, or where do you want to start off with this as far as these upcoming uh, big three events here? Uh, let's start off with uh, we've got a great month coming up next month, Tennis Month, um, which is always a huge hit around here. Uh, lots of activities, activations going on with that. Um, so I think if we throw it over to Corey just to kind of give us some general uh, things that are happening. We've got a great event with the twins that she'll talk about, uh, which is our <laughs> second year. So we're excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so National Tennis Month here is in May. Um, so that's just around the corner here. We're hoping for some nice warmer weather in Minnesota and um, the Dakotas and Wisconsin as well. Um, so we do have a couple of three big events we want to highlight here today. Um, the first being a wheelchair run and roll event at Williston on May 18th. That will be from 5 to 8 in the evening. It is open to anyone. Come check out. Um, you can play. There's also going to be a social hour that follows that as well for people to visit, have some food, have some drinks, and um, just spend time together and, and connect um, about their love for tennis. Um, the other event is Hit to Be Fit Day. Um, so we all know tennis is it's a cardio workout. Um, so this will be here at Viking Lakes in Egan on May 19th. Um, so you can come check it out, get a little cardio workout in, play some tennis, meet some awesome people. Um, and then last but not least, um, the UST Northern Day at the Ballpark. Um, so come on out and join us for the Twins game. Um, it's Twins versus Rangers, if I remember correctly. That's going to be on May 26th, um, Sunday of the holiday weekend there. Um, so we're expecting a great turnout, great day, and hopefully a good game as well um, for our Minnesota Twins. Um, and then as far as other events, because there will be some others popping up throughout the month, you can visit USTA Northern or USTA.com slash National Tennis Month. You can also visit our website, um, USTA.com slash Northern, um, to learn more about events that might be happening here in our section yeah and Corey, you're right that the twins face the rangers on that on that game and uh, for those not familiar with rangers are the reigning world champions it'd be a good chance to see the world champ rangers <laughs> against the twins throwing out the first pitch and then you mentioned also the williston location for listeners out there where is that located uh what city yeah absolutely pat i'll let you hop in here yeah that's located in minnetonka um it's kind of right off of 494 uh, and it is not Williston, North Dakota. Wow, okay. perfect, <laughs> perfect. Thank perfect. you for clarifying. Just to clarify. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's a nice little indoor facility that's been around for a long time. Uh, and we have a great partnership with them. So we're excited to be uh, be hosting this. And so uh, you mentioned it's the second time working with the Twins. It's the second annual uh, Day at the Ballpark event. Um, started it last year. I know you guys with the USTA have partnered with the Minnesota Vikings over the years because your offices are right there. But how long have you worked with the Twins? Is this the second year? And what prompted what prompted that? That's a pretty good move. Yeah, so this is our second year working with the Twins. Um, it was kind of interesting how this all evolved. Uh, just to kind of make a long story short, uh, it started with me attending a uh, uh, officials recruiting event at Target Field where I connected with a couple of people from the Minnesota Twins um, and just kind of evolved from there. Uh, working with them, we had an opportunity to throw out the first pitch last year 
which is great. Justin Gard did that for us. That was fantastic. Uh, we'll have the first pitch again this year. Um, and they've just been a great, great group to, to work with. Um, we'll have ticket information posted on our website and social media. We've got three sections um, that people can choose from that day. Uh, we had a really nice turnout last year and we're hoping for more this year. It was a great day last year and it, uh, barring any uh, inclement weather, it should be another great day this this year. So any of uh, any of you three throwing out that first pitch or do you know who that will be yet? <laughs> no, we're actually um, we're going to auction off the first pitch in our silent auction coming up next week. Um, so literally anybody can have a chance to bid on that. Oh, really? So highest bidder. Nice. Highest bidder. So, Dan, <laughs> you could bid on that. And oh, you awesome. could throw out the first pitch. You know, that's a good that's a good way to promote. I've never heard of that actually done before where you actually auction off that first pitch to be able to throw it out. That's. Great idea, very ingenious. So good luck on the uh, Twins versus Rangers game that's coming up in May. That's the 26th of May, like Corey said, uh, Memorial Weekend, uh, the Sunday yes. Memorial Weekend. Perfect. That sounds good. All right. Where is the – what should we tackle next, Pat? Uh, let's, let's bring Mark in because uh, we're bringing professional tennis back to the section. Uh, we haven't had it here for a long, long time. Uh, so this is a pretty huge event, uh, not only for USTA Northern, uh, not only for tennis in this section, but also for Sioux Falls, which would be a fantastic host city for this event. And uh, Mark has done a fantastic job uh, in, in, in getting this going forward um, and coordinating everything. And uh, he can kind of give the whole lowdown on what's going to happen. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, sir bringing me on um yeah you know this all really developed really in the last six weeks uh there was an event that dropped off the calendar and, and the tour was looking to fill an indoor spot in the u.s uh at the end of october uh, and that's where we got into the conversation and we had our site visit a couple weeks ago and uh the tour was blown away by with what they saw here uh we sit on the sanford sports complex in sioux falls which for people that haven't been to sioux falls uh the sanford sports complex is basically sports paradise uh, it's a 500-acre campus that has uh, world-class facilities for just about every single sport, and we're fortunate enough to to be one of those sports housed on the on the complex. But we're a 10-court indoor facility, um, so this will be an indoor tournament October 20th through the 27th. Uh, be 32 of the the many of the best men's players in the world, uh, 16 doubles teams, and there'll be 16 players competing in the qualifying. Um, what we learned that's really cool about this event this year uh, is the U.S. has a we have a, an exchange with Australia for wild cards into the U.S. Open and Australian Open. We give uh, an Australian a wild card into the U.S. Open each year, uh, and in turn, they give us a wild card into the Australian Open. Uh, this year, how they're going to award that wild card is they're doing a four tournament swing in the fall. Uh, and after those four tournaments, whichever American has the most points through those four is going to get the wild card into the Australian Open. And we're going to be stopped one of four on that, uh, which is super cool. It means we're going to have a, a really outstanding field uh, of guys that are, are vying for that that coveted spot of getting into the 2025 Australian Open, which is a huge deal. So we're really excited about the talent that we're going to draw. Uh, we have a, a perfect community. We have a perfect facility for this. Uh, our community really shows up. You know, we don't have the luxury of having the Vikings and the Twins and Timberwolves and all that. Uh, we don't have the professional sports teams here. So when an event comes here, uh, the community really gets behind it and, and gets excited. So I, I'm confident that the community is going to turn out all week and, and have great attendance, not just from Super Falls, but from the whole region. And we're super excited. I mean, to bring professional tennis to this part of the country is, is a special thing uh, and for us to be, be playing a part in that and how's that. Um, we just we couldn't be more excited. A lot of work to do, but we're excited. Hey, Mark, a question for you. How is for the uh, spectators now? Do you buy a session? Do you buy it by the day? Do you buy a season uh, a, a ticket for the entire event? How does yeah. a person go about getting the tickets then? Sure. So it'll be a little bit of everything. You know, we'll have corporate boxes courtside. Uh, those will be sold um, as you'll buy your box for the week. Uh, so however you want to use those passes, you want to pass them around to friends, clients, use them all yourself to take in tennis for the week. Uh, you'll have that box for the week. Uh, we will have some VIP seats upstairs that are limited, uh, that is premium viewing. So those seats will also be sold as, as week-long packages, not session. Uh, everything else, you know, we'll have grandstand and courtside seating uh, down in the court that will be done 
uh, per day. Uh, so each match early in the tournament will be five matches on each court for the day. So you'll buy your ticket for that whole day. Um, so the session will run. It'll start about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and matches will run, depending on length of matches, um, 10, 10.30 at night. So it'll be a, a really good long day of tennis to, to take in. And tickets, we're planning on tickets going on sale uh, Monday that the U.S. Open starts. So August, I believe, 24th. Uh, but it'll be that first Monday of the U.S. Open. We thought would be the perfect time to everybody's focus and glued to tennis and it hyped up about tennis at that time. So we thought that was the best time to launch ticket sales. Now, the Northern section uh, you hosted in the past uh, a challenger event uh, on the circuit as well. This is different than that, correct? Uh, yeah, this is actually a men's tournament. And when we were hosting... Um, a while back it was a women's event so okay okay from that perspective yes mm -hmm. and then what are the rankings ballpark for these uh for these men coming in what, what would their kind of the range of their world ranking be uh so the spectators kind of got a feel for what they're going to see yeah so it, you know that time of year they were saying you know, anywhere from you know 75 300 in the world that range um okay. and you know the way i tell people is even to the trained eye certainly to the untrained eye uh but even to the trained eye you can't watching it, you don't see a difference between Djokovic and number 200 in the world. They're all just absolute phenomenal players. You just look at Indian Wells a few weeks ago, Djokovic lost to number 127 in the world. Um, so it's it's going to be world-class players. Uh, it's going to be just really exciting to watch. Awesome. Awesome. What is the, my last question is, what is the purse? Uh, what is the money involved here uh, for the winners? And um, how is that distributed out? Some of the listeners on our show here may not know how that is paid out for the winners at tournaments like this. Can you give yeah, us a so brief overview? We're actually fortunate in this country, USTA National offers a lot of support for these tournaments that other countries don't get. Um, so USTA National actually covers all the prize money. The prize money for this tournament's 82,500. Uh, so in other countries, the, the tournaments uh, would have to get sponsorships to support all that as well. Uh, so that's something that we don't have to do, which we're really fortunate to have the support of USC National behind us to to help put on the tournament, helping us with those expenses. But uh, yeah, eighty two thousand five hundred. Oh wow, that is interesting. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anything more, Pat, that you can think of uh, for the for the event? Uh, no, th those are some of our big big events coming up. Uh, just in general, we'll have our U.S. Open viewing party again <clears throat> out at TCO Stadium. Uh, last year, we drew over one thousand people to that. Uh, that'll be that uh, first Monday of the Open. I believe that's uh, August 26th, that Monday night. Fantastic event. Information will be coming out on that as well. We'll be back again at Vikings Training Camp. Uh, this will be our, gosh, fourth season back at Training Camp. Uh, and we're part of the Kids Zone. So we've got uh, mini nets set up out there where people can come out and play and just have fun and be part of the activation out there and enjoy the day so we're excited about that vikings have been great partners uh with us as well and just tennis in general the weather is getting nice uh, we encourage people just to get out and play there are a lot of public courts available uh it's very inexpensive um and tennis is still booming awesome and that viewing event and how is that then is some of the the matches then are simulcast or streamed there or is it just the the main match on the Arthur Ashe Stadium court? or Yeah, so actually that's the opening night of the Open. So in the stadium here on, on the Vikings campus, they've got the Jumbotron. So we'll broadcast the opening night matches on, on that. Um, so it's just a, it's a great party. People come out, they sit on the turf out there. We've got tons of activations, whether people want to do cardio tennis. We've got Vikings activations out there. We've got food and drinks. Uh, the whole deal, they can watch tennis, um, they can hang out and chill. Uh, the opening night for the U.S. Open was a fantastic evening. There's always entertainment. There's always a feature match. Um, so it's just a great way to spend a summer evening. Awesome. Now, for the uh, for those interested in in a USTA tennis, we know it's a, you know, it's a nationwide event. Uh, I mean, a nationwide uh, company. Now, the northern section comprises... Which stage? Uh, how is this broken out for the listeners? Sure. Yep. We are one of 17 sections across the country. We encompass Minnesota, North and South Dakota, and Western Wisconsin. I see. I see. Uh, very good. Very good. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Is there anything else that 
you want to speak to, uh, promote? And what is the website, first of all, uh, Pat? I'll turn that over to Corey. She can give you all, all of that information. Oh, yes, yes. Absolutely. Um, so our web website is going to be usta.com slash northern. And so you can find more information on there. Also, we're on all the major um, social media platforms. So you can find us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn as well. Um, and our, our hashtag there, our, our account name is going to be at USTA Northern. Awesome. That is... Excellent. That is excellent stuff. Well, I want to thank uh, Mark there in, in Sioux Falls, uh, Corey and Pat, both in Egan at the location there, for coming on the show. Hopefully we can drive some uh, folks to take in some of these events and watch and monitor and um, watch watch them in person or, or stream them. Um, but at least be aware of them is, is the big thing, is the outreach is to make people aware of all the things coming in here from the northern section. Thanks again for your time, everyone, and uh, good luck at the events. All right. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Good to see you. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.